Welcome to another Lego Man Cave video. The last one was an update and since that, well, while I was editing that, we've had another delivery. So this video is going to be an unboxing video of what we've received. Right, so I'm currently editing a video of the Lego City update and I get a knock on the door. So some of my order has already arrived. This one, for example, is a stand for aircrafts. So if I can get a couple of these, I've got one to test it out. If I can get a couple of these, they can then possibly create some space on the shelf so where i've got like this massive ship that could go on the stand so it's elevated up in the air and then these smaller ones can then fit around the bottom of it again trying to make use of the space that i've actually got the next thing which was mentioned in that update video i only bought one again just to test it out first before i buy a load we've got a trolley for our trolley car in Asda. So now I know that it's minifigure scale and that it looks pretty damn good. I think it was about £152. So we can get this set up, put into Asda, and then we can buy some more. The next on the list, we have some more 16 by 16 plates. We've got six of them, double-sided, which these will either come in useful for mills plating or for making more buildings i haven't really made like a hollow building yet because i don't really like them i'd like to have like this the potential to put interior in it in the future so that's why i buy these last but not least which was also mentioned in the last video this is the unboxing because I haven't opened it yet. But this is my first motorized set. So I'm going to be having a play around with this. I think that's the battery pack attached to the instructions. Uh, we've got, is that a motor? I don't know. We've got the train piece, so we can have a train going forwards and backwards. And we've got the remote. So, my first ever set of motorised bits so I can get the train running. So, I think I can possibly rebuild the train, try and get that uh, on the go, get it working. But, before I can do it properly, I need to get these train stations built. Right, so the first thing we're going to work on is our trolley. Quick, simple, add the wheels, turn it over. We could stick one up uh, and then lie the others down maybe. Put a stick into the carrot. Little pieces versus big hands. Never a good battle. So, there we have. Uh, I'll get a random minifigure. There we have our trolley. Now, if we turn his hands, even though this is a random figure because he hasn't got matching hands anyway. That's actually not too bad. I quite like that. I suppose it's a bit big, but you've got to have enough shopping in there. It's like a kid pushing a trolley in it. But either way, I quite like that, and that will fit well into this uh, Asda. So there he is, straight away, walking around the shop with his shopping trolley. Right, so I've got the battery pack out, had a little play to figure it out. Obviously, I'm going to have to rebuild the train. But now that we've figured it out... Yeah, I'm going to have a try. Right, you ready, Luke? Yeah. Make sure you don't go flying off the end. Right. right, go on then. Left. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Right. 
Yeah. Oh, he's still going right. Ah, watch more train. That's it. Go on, keep going. Yes, mate. We have battery power, and Loki's nearly sent it flying off the track. Back up. There it goes. He's just crashed it. You pain in the bum. So now I've managed to put the roof on it and I've connected the second carriage. And off she goes. Stop, stop. And she fell off. <laughs> and she's back without the passengers. <laughs> I wasn't even recording. Okay, so now it's time to build this bad boy. All the pieces are laid out, so should be nice and easy. So that was quite a cool little build. Quick and easy, took me literally five minutes. Simple, that rotates. These can adjust so you can have it higher or lower. So now, there you go, just comparison. We can come over to here and we can tidy all this up just using this one item. All right, so that took a bit of trial and error, that one, is too big. That one is rounded at the bottom, so the only place to pin it is at the front so it's off balance. So we've gone for that one. So anything bigger than that is not gonna work. You'd need a bigger stand, which I have seen there are bigger ones. But either way, that is definitely a lot tidier rather than ship on top of ship on top of ship and it just looking a mess. And then the other base plates, that, well, the other plates, should I say, that I got, the 16 by 16s are in there until we decide what to do with them. Okay, so we're going to end the video there. So me and my new moving train, whoop, whoop, are going to say goodbye. And we'll see you in the next video. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Bye-bye.